All right, guys, so we got some big news coming out today. Pokemon Go, as it's approaching its big-time first birthday, and Niantic apparently has some big plans for celebrating. Uh, no party hats or party favors, but the developer announced that in honor of the milestone, it's launching both the game's first official live event that we kind of saw coming because that's half the time all they talk about, and summer-themed campaign for players. First up is the Solstice event. Anybody who doesn't know what that is, it's the longest day of the year, which will kick off on June. June 13th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, because of course it is. Uh, players will be able to catch more fire and ice type Pokemon monsters during this campaign. We've talked about this one before. We kind of saw it coming. It got leaked. Uh, they'll also receive increased experience points for throwing Pokeballs well and discounts on lucky egg items. Again, kind of already knew that, but now it's being confirmed. Niantic teased this on its blog that this event will end on June 20th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, also, it will anticipate the launch of a huge new update for the game. The developer hinted that cooperative multiplayer features will be available sometime after the Solstice event closes. They said soon after... You can look forward to new update focused on collaborative group gameplay features that will get you playing Pokemon Go in fun new ways. Yay! Uh, the post reads, In preparation for the exciting features, we'll be temporarily disabling gyms for a short period of time. No gyms for you. Most likely means they're cleaning it out. So they're wiping away all the old trash, making a nice clean slate. There's no further word on when those features will appear or what exactly they'll be. To help pass the time, fans can ship out to Chicago for the live Pokemon Go Fest, because apparently that's where it's taking place. Niatic's holding this ticketed event, and it's a ticketed event. That's the odd thing to me. And the ticketed event uh, is happening on July 22nd with passes on sale starting June 19th at... 10 a.m. Pacific time. Details are light for now, but there will be plenty of opportunities to meet and play with other trainers during the outdoor celebration. I don't really understand why they're doing it in Chicago and not like New York or something where I could go to it. I'm sure other people will. Jesus. Also, similar if smaller events will be held in Europe, Japan throughout the summer as well. We're eager to see how those new co-op features figure into these plans. Now, this is being read and everything else off of uh, several websites and Pokemon's blog itself. I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing. Uh, I kind of saw this all coming. I'm cool with it. So now, with all that being said, we have our live events, which we kind of knew was coming, as I've said before. The CEO of Pokemon Go said it about a thousand times that that's kind of his uh, thing. So, I'm still kind of shocked there's only be one. I'm a little, the only thing I'm kind of annoyed about is that they're selling tickets to it. If you really think about it, I get it. That maybe they're doing it. because I haven't seen the prices yet. That's what I'm curious about. Because if I start seeing like $50 to $100 per ticket, I'm going to be like, Jesus. I mean, I get the whole ticket thing, but haven't you guys made enough money? I mean, I think you guys have made like one and a half billion. I mean, I know maybe the new Bentleys are coming out, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. So, since the gyms are going to be taken down, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be, uh, I don't know, how, they didn't say how long it's going to be, but I got to assume it's actually going to be a day or two. And they're going to wipe out everybody. Everybody's going to start from scratch. And then we're going to get our new gym update. And then we're going to be able to put one type of Pokemon in each time. So, everybody's going to have to get that one ready. It should be pretty interesting to see how this all plans out or works out, I should say. Also, another thing, and I know this might be completely off the subject, but I had to bring it up. So, I was reading a Yelp review. I'm pretty sure all of you know what Yelp is. And uh, the reason to bring this up is because I found it to be completely insane. I was uh, reading a Yelp review from this guy about a car wash that opened up recently by my place because I was looking for a place to go bring my car. And uh, so he wrote in there this giant Bible verse of a review that basically stated that the place was awesomely great. They did perfect work, were friendly, nice, happy, considerate, the whole nine, but he gave them one star. The reason he gave them one star is because they didn't have free coffee in the waiting area. Wow. 
Yeah, I just felt the need to bring that up because I find it can be completely retarded on every single level. It just cracked me up laughing. I felt the need to bring it up because really, you're going to say everything about it was perfect, but you're going to give them one star because they didn't have free coffee. Really? So, anyway, whoever that guy is, if you're watching this, you're a tool. And uh, I feel bad for your entire family. I make... Oh, my one eyebrow's broken, I think. Nope. I'm getting a potty soon. On to other news. Uh, they're also talking about uh, changing up the eggs a bit more. There's going to be... Some differences, because one thing they didn't speak about with this whole event is the legendaries. They didn't say a word about it, but we know they're coming because they told us they're coming. And they wouldn't lie to us, would they? Would they? No, I don't think they would lie. No, they would. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to let you guys go. Get back to whatever. Uh, and for future reference, if they don't serve free coffee in the place, don't give them one star. It's just lame. Anyway, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like, and I'll catch you guys later.